And here to help us understand the changes in Hollywood and business, Edward J. Epstein, author of The Big Picture, Money and Power in Hollywood, and The Hollywood Economist, The Hidden Financial Reality Behind the Movies. We also have Harold, Harold Vogel. Hal Vogel is the head of Vogel Capital Management, and he is the author of The Entertainment Industry Economics. Gentlemen, good to have you with us on, on Bloomberg. Great Thank being you. here. Hal, can you set a little context for us and compare Hollywood 87 to Hollywood 2010? Because the numbers are the numbers, but right. in terms of the industry and how deals are made and how the top, top grossing stars really dominate the field now. We went through a period of about 10 years after the original Wall Street when we had an upsurge in interest in investing from around the world, literally. And we were not yet in the DVD era, but we were in the videotape era. And so people were saying, look, videotape is going to be incredibly profitable and that's going to uh, attract interest in Hollywood. A lot of the stars were able to extract tremendous premiums. So the star salaries went up to 20 million a picture in some cases. We went through a very good period after that for about 10 years. And around 2005 or 2006, DVDs started to go down sharply. Star salaries came down money dried up except for the private equity and the hedge funds and the, they piled in for about two or three years until the crisis in 2008 so today it's harder to get money for independent pictures the independent business has kind of collapsed on itself and we've got lower star salaries we've got a different structure and a and technological change that the studios really don't know how to handle they have really found great difficulty in adjusting to the new environment. Jay, what about this notion of this online world that, that Hal is alluding to? I mean, this is disruptive. Are the studios, are the people that make the content, do they get it? Well, I agree with everything Harold says, but I think the studios do know how to handle it, maybe not technologically, but they understand that there's they're now coming out on 4,000, 5,000 screens, and with digital projection around the world in a few years, they'll be on 20,000 screens as soon as they digitalize the movie industry. They understand that the only audience they could get to fill these theaters is basically uh, teenagers and young adults that they know which television programs they're clustered around. It's basically a marketing operation now, and so they have to aim for more and more for a comic book reading audience. Now, Wall Street, too, is very different. Harold, you were just talking during the break about what has changed in Wall Street in terms of the financing, private equity, hedge funds getting into it, and then finding out that it's not such an easy business. No, not at all. The, what happened is that the hedge funds put about $21 billion over four years into the film business. It's not clear that they have had a, a successful uh, experience with all of this. Hollywood always needs more capital. Back in 1987, uh, a, an expensive picture was $75 million. Today, people don't blink at 150 to 200 million. So the, the need for capital is tremendous. The outlook has changed because theaters are only 15 to 20 percent of the total. It's everything else that now counts. And so there's a tremendous sea change in the way things look structurally. Jay, what about this idea that, net, that companies like Netflix and Apple's iTV, that's the real conduit for making money now in the, in the picture business? Well, as Harold says, the back end is 80 percent or more of the revenue that flows in and even a higher percent of the profits. The television is the single most profitable part. DVDs have now imploded and television where they don't have to pay advertising, marketing, distribution, they just supply the um, uh, content to the television channels to whether it's HBO, uh, pay television is very important, we can't forget them. Uh, cable television is extremely important, free cable television. And then you have the new media, which they do not know how to handle. This is the big dilemma in Hollywood now. Will they allow rentals for the Apple Store? Or will they sell them? They can make money selling them. They can't make money renting them. And we just got to use at least 10 seconds to explain that you do have a role in Wall Street. Money never sleeps. You play uh, the central banker? 
All right. Uh, a minute roll. A minute roll. All right. Edward J. Epstein, thank you very much. Hal Vogel, thank you very much. Come